Thank you.
well, hello my friends. Um, I hope you are doing well and um, I'm so glad that you are here. Um, I just love this piece. I love I love the background. The background is just, oh, it was so good. It was so needed. It's what I was needing. Um, it's been a heavy, heavy week. Um, gosh. And um, as I was trying to find my inspiration for this piece, as I always, always do, um, I, you know, I look at what's going on around me, or I look at what inspiration I'm needing, or I look at... Um, I look at a lot of different things, and um, this is this is what came out. And um, I just know that um, this the listen, learn, love, and change. This is what I have been doing all week, and my my friends of color are, are hurting this week. Um, and not just this week. Um, this is all visual right now, and things are happening right now. But my friends of color hurt. This it's been a long. It's been a a lifetime of of hurt. And um, as I thought about what I was doing or what I needed to do as I thought about you know what I wanted to say in my work and how I wanted to process and how I wanted to show up and all of the things um, this is what kept coming to me and and the reason being is because um, I likened my my week and my learning and my listening to couples therapy and I hope you stay with me for a second here, but any time um, in my therapy when I was working on a relationship or my relationship with my spouse or my relationship with my kids or whatever it is, a, a relationship, the number one thing that I can do to facilitate change is to listen and listen and listen and listen and um, there is there's no greater injustice for anybody to not be heard um, when when I am trying to share my truth say with my husband we'll go back to couples therapy when I'm trying to share my truth and he's not listening um, it, there, it hurts. That's, that's a deep wound. And so right now in our nation, there's a deep wound of not being heard in my friends of color. And one of the best things that I can do is just be there, present, and listen. And again, back to couples therapy, I have been instructed to not be forming a, um, a rebuttal as I'm listening, to not be defending as I'm listening, to not be um, a lot of things as I'm listening, to be, but to be fully present in the moment, to listen, to see, to hear the other person, my spouse, my friend, the relation, whatever relationship I'm trying to work on. To be fully present and listen, listen, listen. And um, so I have listened this week. I have prayed this week. I have listened and prayed and listened and prayed and wrote and journaled and listened and tried to be listening. And what happens in the listening, we learn. We learn a lot. When we're not always trying to defend ourselves or when we're not always trying to find a solution, um, I tell that to my husband all the time, like, babe, I just need to talk. I don't need to, for you to give me an answer. <laughs> and all he, and he, all he wants to do is help. I get that, but I, sometimes there's times when you just need to like, blah, let it out. And I feel like that's what's happening 
right now. And um, my response this week is to just listen and um, to show up and be fully present in the listening. Fully present so that I can learn what I can do better, so that I can learn what needs to be done. Um, you know, when my friend calls me, we, you know, my friend and I, we don't talk every day. And, um, but when I get a text from my friend with the, with this, we call it the bat signal because, um, you know, we don't talk every day, but there are times when it's like a 911, I need you. And I mean, everything stops for me when that happens and vice versa for her. And we just get on the phone and we just let the other person talk it out. And so that's, I mean, it's a relationship. And um, that's where I'm at this week. I'm listening. I'm listening. And in that listening, I'm learning so much. So, so much about um, my friends of color and the um, pain. The pain. The raw, real pain. Hurt. And... Um, the best thing that I can do right now is just listen. And then in that, learn. And in that, when I'm listening, when I'm learning, when I'm fully present, I am sh showing love. I'm, I'm, I'm being present. I'm um, validating the emotions and the feelings. I'm being present. Listen, learn, love. And as I go back to therapy, as I go back to my therapy lessons, um, my therapist would always say when I'm when we're counseling through whatever issue, um, to listen, to learn. And how now do I show the other person that I love them? How how so I'm listening, that's one. That's one of the best things, is to just listen. And then now, love, like how, what are the physical actions that I can do to show the other person that I'm in relationship with that I love them. It's not how I would love them, but how they need the love. So there's, you know, five love languages. I don't know if you've ever heard of that, but everybody receives love differently. And I need to be able to show up to my relationships and be willing to give love how they see love, how they need love, how they need it, not how I would give love. And I receive love differently. And, the, you know, my husband and I both know our love languages and we both um, make sure to show the other person that they are loved in their language. And so listen, learn, love, and then change. So the change happens in this process because there's there's a shift that happens. You've learned something about yourself like, oh my gosh, I didn't know I was hurting you that way. I didn't know that. Or um, in the listening process or whatever it is, in these processes we learn the things that need to be changed. And um, so that's been my week this week. That's the inspiration behind this piece. And um, I encourage you this week, if you're feeling that heaviness, if you're feeling like I don't know what to do, if you're feeling like, how do I help? Um, Google it. <laughs> I'm serious. Google how you can help. Find your lane, because not everybody can do all of the things. Not everybody um, can protest, or not everybody can, whatever it is, to facilitate change and to facilitate conversation and to facilitate listening and learning and loving. Um, everybody's got to pick a lane, but we're all headed in the same direction to repair the relationship to repair the damage that's been done, to re, you know, all of that. And I don't have all the answers, and I don't have it 100% right, and I never will, and that's part of being in relationship. 
but the only thing that I can continue to do in any relationship, including the relationship of what's happening now with my friends of color, is to show up, to keep coming back and having the conversation, to listen, listen, listen over and over and over again. That's the only thing that I can do. And then as I do that, I can make change. I can make change in me. I can make change in my communities or my systems or my thought processes or my family or all of those things. That's that's where I'm at this week. And um, that's when real and lasting changes. And, like I said, continue to show up. Not just right now when there's hype and there's burning buildings and there's all the things. But day after day after day continue to show up. And that might look like donating. That might not that might look like um, buying a piece of art from someone. That might look like um, I don't know. There's just a million things and you have to do the work to to find out what your role is. And um, I've read like I like a mad woman this week. I have I've just been trying to soak in and listen and learn and love. And um, that's how someone who's been hurt will feel loved when they feel heard. Oh man, it's been a heavy week. My loves, I hope that you're processing everything that's happening. I hope that um, you are listening and learning and loving and rethinking and all the things that happen as growth happens, um, as change happens. Change is hard and it's uncomfortable and it, it oh, it's hard. It's just hard in any relationship. Oh, man. But I am sitting in my uncomfortable and I'm, and I'm choosing my lane to help. I'm choosing the things that I can do to help. I'm choosing to just show up. Oh, loves, I love you. And I hope you're processing. And I'm hoping that we come together and we listen and we learn and we love. I love you guys. And, um... I hope you get some rest this week. I hope that you do all. I hope you listen with your whole heart this week. And that we can find some change in ourselves and in our nation. All right, my loves. Um, get some rest today. Do the things that you need to do to care for you and for others. And please always, always know that you are loved. <laughs>